Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel, the channel that talks about how to master your flow, how to deal with narcissists, psychopaths, bullies, ostracism, everything all in one. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump into the video. This video is about how to master the energy in your environment. Now, uh, the first thing I wanted to, to say is the higher the charge, the more energy that's in an environment whenever you first get there. And I'm talking about that's surrounded by you in particular without you having to do anything the more toxic the environment is now that doesn't mean um, negative energy because people think that if it's positive energy it's always going to be good energy but the positive and negative of it doesn't really matter energy's energy now if it's um, focused on you uh, for the most part and you haven't done anything to earn it um, or not even necessarily saying to earn it, but you haven't done anything to cause it, but it's it's surrounding you, then um, there's probably hostility that's driving it. Even if they're treating you extremely nice, you see, even in an environment, you still have the love bombing thing that people do, and what makes it what makes it over the top, love bombing, like people treating you really, really kind, showering you with love when they first meet you, is the hostility it is the this unnecessary energy that you didn't that's coming from them that's just what they overdo it you know um anger like being a predator having that type of energy that is a that's it's almost like it's it's a fierce type of energy it's not just everyday um just normal energy is it, it gives you a lot you know a lot of anger and drive that that it takes to be that so they overdo everything and sometimes it's going to be outright just vicious and sometimes it's going to be positive you know they might give you a raise right off the bat as soon as you get there get into the environment you're this the model employee we're so glad we found you you know and you get all this this praise and it's all energy at the end of the day and it doesn't limit itself to them treating you negative or positive it could just be sexual energy um, and I'm gonna use the word energy a lot in this video but sexual energy uh, hostile energy um, that that means that if they just hate your type of person you being black you being gay they just have this hostile energy there. Um, predatorial energy is more them just being aroused by the fact that you're a target. Now everybody's going to disguise the type, the the type of energy that they have if it's overtly negative, but it's all going to combine. You know, the sexual energy that you're getting from the opposite sex fits right in with the the predatorial energy that you're getting from the narcs or the hateful energy that you're getting from whoever's hating you then you got the jealous people who are going to charge the situation and that's the reason why the more charged up it is the more how fast people react to you how swift actions are being taken according to you um, based on your actions if you make a mistake at your job and the next day you're doing something else because somebody's done said something about you or um a rumor or what you said even if it's not a negative thing some, a joke you said something that you've said goes around really quick or if you say something that's not really that funny and everybody's erupting in laughter you know it can be confusing you know it, it's one of those things where okay if everybody's up erupting in laughter if it's like that then obviously but it could be more subtle you know but it's it's multiple there's multiple reasons why they do it they do it to confuse you they do it to to suck you in so you don't run and then slowly um fry you you know like uh like a piece of of meat <laughs> they slowly start to cook you and then eventually it's too late right um but mainly it's, it's just the fact that they have all this excess energy and it's all focused on you now if you come in and you start trying to play into that it's really it's better to just gray rock anywhere you go just be bland dress bland until you actually understand 
what's going on in the environment. Don't draw attention to yourself. Don't sit up here and talk and give all this content out and and be loud. And then if somebody starts to, to let their mask slip, then you argue with them or and try to show everybody that, you know, I'm this new popular person. I don't take any trash from anybody. I'm not taking anything off anyone. And then things go out of hand, you know. Um, it's the same thing. Like if you the more content that you put out, it's the same thing as putting out content online. There's already hostility. There's already energy surrounded by in certain topics. For example, you have the Mayweather fight. Racial hostility, racial energy. Just look at it as energy. There's already energy out there. So when they put out the content, it just takes off on its own. You know, if you put out the content for the right people who have the right amount of energy is going to take off now if you if you have diarrhea of the mouth you're putting out all this different content and everything's gonna get circled around and it, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just like a video that that gets all these different views you can't really stop it or a certain topic right you can't really stop something once it starts to, to take off because you didn't create the the energy in the first place it's their energy that's taking it off you know you can't control anybody else's energy right so that's the reason why you you gray rock that's the reason why you don't talk as much i mean just in general if it's at work most of what you say should just be surrounded by what's constructive you know talking about work anything else because once you start feeling all this excitement it almost puts pressure on you to try to be more interesting you know but don't be interesting you know just and i wouldn't just say just be yourself because that could be you could be one of those type of people who who people are are going going to use just because you you're that type of person who who says a lot you know who does a lot i, I would say just be bland be boring be as boring as possible because you don't know where and, and this one of those things where all you know is that there's energy here you walk in you see all this excess energy that's all you know you don't know where it's coming from what place is coming from because it could be misplaced you know they don't have to show that they're hostile to you directly by tripping you as you walk down the hall you know they can shower you with praise it's no big deal eventually they're going to get what they want to get from you so they don't have to do it right off the bat but you know that it's there because you didn't do anything in particular to to cause all of this energy now if you were trying to start a business or if you were trying to capitalize off of this you had a cause then there's no reason reason to dissipate the energy but there's no reason to feed into it either. You know, if you don't have a cause, then don't feed into it because a lot of people try to, they want to be popular and things like that. And it's not necessary. If you're just trying to get, go to work and get a check, go to work and get your check. If you're trying to learn something at school, go to work. I mean, go to school and learn. You know, you don't need to, 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 to be Mr. or Miss Popular because that's not, that's, in in this environment, like that's just not something that that uh, you should strive for because we're 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 in a toxic situation. Unless you're trying to be a, some type of celebrity or internet celebrity, then that's fine. But just so that you can feel good, you know, that's how things get out of control. That's how people fall in. Where you just like, dang, how did it get here? Like, there's cer certain people. Like, I've been. Uh, military brat you know when I was younger and I joined the military myself so I've been the new guy and I've met a lot of people coming in and I've sat back and watched where it's just like you see people and you see people getting hyped up and you see all this weird energy around them and then um, they take this massive fall like they're not now they're getting bullied and you're just like dang how did it turn into that like how did it get here um, but you know, it's just certain towns, you know, certain places are just toxic. And that's just one of those those things that come to it. Now, if you're a really good looking person, then that's one thing like, you know, you're going to get this type of attention wherever you're going to you go anyway. But uh, 
you decide how you're going to handle that. Um, that's that's a whole different topic, really. It kind of it kind of is a whole different topic. But uh, for the average person, the best thing to do is just dissipate the energy and just show people that you're always going to be boring, you know, and and just stick to that. And eventually, you know, only pick one or two people that you're going to get close to and uh, just do your job, you know, because you, you can't stop it once it gets out of control. You just got to let the energy die on its own. And at that point, you don't know where where things are going to take you. You're going to be like, dang, how did we get here? Like, how did it get this crazy? It's because you're feeding into something that you can't control. And that's that's the whole point.